Welcome to SQL Reporting Service. This is video number 5 and today we are going to discuss about data bars. So what we saw last time was a spark line and as you can see I still have that demo open and you can see how the spark line was configured. I mean like the data was different so this looks pretty messy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and <coughs> I'm sorry I'm gonna change the chart type and I'm gonna keep it as this one let's preview that again and let's see well it appears to be okay now alright so <coughs> and uh, if uh, this video is for you the first time so to give you the heads up I'll show you what I've done <coughs> what I've done is I've created a data set which has uh, a query okay a query which gets me the product sales based on the month and year I have grouped it okay so you can see there's a query where I'm selecting category name product name and then I'm choosing the product sales by some formula and then I have got like month and date in the end I got like some joints okay all are inner joints in the end I have a condition where I am taking the data for 1997 year only <coughs> and in the end I'm just doing the grouping by so basically it gives me some data if I execute I get around like 614 records All right it's fine so this is what I'm doing and this is a matrix report where I have added you know category and products onto the <coughs> I mean uh, onto the row groups as you can see over here one second all right one second so I'm sorry I had to pause because I wanted to show you the row groups okay so they are in the row groups and they are uh, grouped and on the column side you can see it is done year wise and monthly wise for the demo purposes, pu purposes I'm sorry I have kept uh, the year as 1997 so it's fine if you don't group it by year in here okay in the end and I'm looking at sum and the total right so now you got the idea right <coughs> one second okay so let's pre we have seen the preview already right so the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a column on to my right <coughs> okay and over here I'm going to put a data bar but where I'm going to put the data bar is right here because I want to see against each and every product like uh, <coughs> how they are doing right and then I need to double click on it or I can do right click and then it gives me an option <coughs> that what values you want to assign so basically looking at the situation I can see I want to look at the product sales okay so let's save that and let's preview and <coughs> you can see that uh, you know the one two three four this guy goes pretty high right because the value on the right hand side the total is high <coughs> it goes the same uh, with the other guys if you look at the four eight eight seven whoops I'm sorry okay sorry if you look at uh, this guy okay and this guy they are nearly very much close in the graph so you can make out it's okay so these graphs are doing great and the biggest problem is this figure is 49,000 okay and rest all are like you know tiny whiny so that's the reason why you don't get a good looking graph in here okay <coughs> so that's it next thing I would like to show you is uh, there's an option uh, over here we are supposed to do the category groups okay but we are not doing the groups because the things uh, I mean like the things are grouped for us by default you're showing the progress of each and every you know product now the same thing if I wish to go for category wise like what you saw was uh, the product wise now if I wish to see the same for category wise then I'll do the same <coughs> I'll go like product sales and now this will give me you know the result for the category wise I'll show you an example <coughs> okay let me 
we scroll down Y824 okay 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 so now if you compare these the pink ones you can see this fella has gone up and this fella has you know one second this guy and this guy so you can see the difference between these two guys like what type of sales they are making right and <clears throat> if you want to compare further you can do the same you can see over here you know based on the sales they are doing uh, the math and this is uh, actually this is the sum of all okay so <clears throat> actually I need to go like this well this is sum of products this should be the same copy paste white and apple see let's preview again <coughs> sorry and you can see I got like some huge numbers in here where I'm getting the sum okay so you can see like you know over here I'm getting like <coughs> a huge number of one uh, one million approximately and this is fifty five thousand three sixty eight right let me scroll down for more and see if I can find a good figure a good comparison yes this guy is like eighty two thousand this guy is like 82,000 and this guy is like 55,000 and that's the reason why it appears like that okay so <clears throat> anyways it gives you an idea or heads up like how can you use these things right so if you look at uh, now this section we can see we have covered almost everything all the controls we have done now my pending part from my end is I guess a sub report and rectangle and few basic tools <coughs> So I'll be covering that most probably in the next I guess four or five tutorials and then we're going to end this thing right so I hope this video gives you an idea like you know how to use a uh, data bar and what situation you can use the data bar and how to configure it so if this video helps you in some way then please share this video with your friend and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this good night and take care